Everywhere you look, you see weak people being bulldozed into compliance as they sacrifice their dignity on the altar of temporary peace and harmony. There's BBC Director General Tim Davey completely capitulating to a sports presenter's demand to break the state broadcaster's impartiality rules. And there's King Charles rolling over and letting his youngest son trample all over him. Since they theatrically stomped out of Britain for a staggering lucrative new life monetizing their royal status in America, Prince Harry and his wife Meghan's behavior has been quite simply unconscionable. A textbook lesson in ungracious disloyalty. Day after disgraceful day, the gruesome twosome cash in, lobbing harmful grenades from their $34 million California mansion. Three incendiary years of all-out attacks, branding the royal family racist, accusing Prince William of ruthlessly spinning against them, calling Camilla the villain, dismissing Charles as a distant, uncaring father mean with his money, a nasty little Netflix documentary series focusing on the Windsor's historical connection to slavery, an even nastier little book full of Harry's stupefying slings, arrows and penile frostbite revelations and a whole lot more. If I was the king, which thank God I'm not, my response would be unequivocal. I would not invite Harry and Meghan to my coronation. That's what, it seems clear, the majority of Brits want for the monarch to stand up to this preposterous pair. But it ain't going to happen because the king is apparently prepared to get kicked all over the place in a constant stream of hurtful insults insults and just put up with it. That's His Majesty's prerogative and his right. Of course we understand. This is his son and he's anxious to maintain some kind of relationship. But am I alone in wishing that Charles would make a stand? Insult my wife and my family and you're not invited to my coronation, but invited they will be. And make no mistake, they'll be there like a shot. The attention-seeking duo's presence potentially overshadowing the main event and turning the sacred ceremony into a circus. Then stand by for more excruciatingly unpleasant, bad-mannered interviews from illegal drug fan Harry and self-styled saviour of the world, Meghan. The deranged Duke and Duchess of Netflix might not matter much in the great scheme of things, but in terms of the British royal family, this petulant prince and former cable show actress are inflicting immense damage. Their public bleating and woke whining is destroying the sovereign's all-important mystique. Harry and Meghan have turned the once majestic Buckingham Palace show into a tawdry soap opera. Not so much Coronation, more like Coronation Street. It would be nice and arguably prudent if the king expressed the displeasure he obviously feels, put his foot down and exiled this carping cartoon couple from royal life. But he's never going to do that. So get the paparazzi cameras ready and get set for a coronation starring an ungrateful aristocrat and his moaning missus on a mission to destroy. Good King Charles can bow and scrape to horrible Harry and mean Meghan if he wants to. But please excuse me if I don't. Thank you and good night. What just happened? Introducing Mike and Kevin's ice cream for snowflakes. Indulge in our deliciously sanctimonious flavors, such as Extinction Raspberryan, Cancel Culture and Cream, Cookie Doble Warming, Non Bindberry, Woka Cola, Ginger Nut, and Vanilla. All made from our organic gender fluid. Mike and Kevin's Ice Cream for Snowflakes.